Hello everyone, this is Mariale Jimenez. With this video, I want to share some ideas related with environmental conservation. The reason why I chose this theme is I consider we are all responsible for the things that happen on our planet. It's not important our nationality, gender, race, or socioeconomic status. We are all living on the earth and using its resources every day. Therefore, we should be good stewards. I interview Laura Ray, who is very sensible about matters of the environment, to learn from her experiences. She is passionate about preserving our planet for the future generations. You can see this in her daily actions. So, I spoke with her to learn more ways we can all be environmentally conscious. But first, let's recall some definitions. Pollution is a process of making air, water, soil, etc. dangerously dirty and not suitable for people to use. There are basically four kinds. Air pollution, where harmful gases are released in the atmosphere that we are not supposed to breathe. Water pollution, where harmful pollutants like chemicals, oil, garbage, pesticides are released in rivers, lakes, oceans. Soil or land pollution, when pollutants are thrown on land. Urbanization and industrialization are the main causes. Finally, noise pollution, which is caused by constructions, trains, planes, loud music. Pollution hurts every living being on the earth. But let's focus on one of the biggest issues, food, which reaches all the environment. Some companies who want to produce tomatoes and make them look more beautiful or improve the texture of potatoes have to manipulate them genetically or use some chemicals that go into rivers, lakes and oceans. Once there, these substances are able to increase the size of aquatic plants and rise oxygen consumption, which alters the ecosystem and causes the mutation or death of some plant and fish species. Eventually, those consecutive events are responsible for decreasing water storage available for drinking and that is a change of conditional events on the environmental cycle. So here we have some tips to live environmentally friendly in US. Buy consciously, choose product of the season to produce the fruit to produce the fruit that you would like to eat. For example, strawberries in January, there are many things behind this. It's necessary to import them for places like Argentina, for instance. Imagine the cost of transportation, the chemicals that are needed to avoid rotting, and finally the price, which is never fair for the farmers who harvest the food, to mention a few of the reasons. Buy locally requires less chemical to preserve the food. Take a bag with you every time you go to the store. If you really, really care about your food, grow a garden in your yard. There will be zero pesticides. Build your own compost heap, a pile of discarded food waste that breaks down and can be used to fertilize other plants in the garden. Keep your car in excellent condition. 
it will produce less toxic emission. And every time you can walk or ride your bike, try to do it. Use fluorescent light bulbs and turn them off when you don't need them. Certainly, these bulbs are more expensive, but you can save up to 30% on your energy bill. Every time you are not using a charger, disconnect it. You can save lots of energy. Skip your bottled water. The energetic cost, it's pretty high to produce it. And instead, opt for a reusable container. Wash your clothes with cold water and ecological soaps, which are biodegradable. If you have a backyard and the season allows you to do so, take advantage of the sun in order to dry your clothes, which conserves energy a lot. For people who really, really care about the planet, there are some companies who wash their clothes vapor. And something else, sleep naked. Yes, you hear right. It sounds funny, but think about how much you are saving. Remember, pollution can cause several illnesses, can lead to the extinction of many species, can decrease the quality of life. We must do our individual part as residents of a global environment to protect our planet now and for the future. We can all help by starting with something small. So let's get started.